as baseball on tap from lovely City Field in Flushing, Queens. Today, the finale of this quick two game series between the New York Yankees and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball next on the show. Next to hit, Gerald Hayden, already holding the all-time historic record. He continues to carve out his place in the game's pantheon right here. You know, Matty, whatever happens in this guy's career, regardless whether he becomes a superstar for 15 years or fizzles away, this mark will always stand. It will always be something that other players chase. Children will learn about it in textbooks. All right, hang on, hang this guy on, right certainly there. etched his place in this game's history. And as a result of that errant throwback hit, so now to the plate, Gerald Hayden. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. First pitch of the A-B on its way. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. You're going, you're going, you're going, you're going. Running hard, he's digging for second. Arms pumping, he's hustling for third. The relay throw, and he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. You know, Dero, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been ranking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now as when this streak started to start it off with his first base hit. Yeah, it, do, it doesn't seem like he's coming out of it anytime soon. I wonder the pitcher that would create such a tough matchup for this guy to shut him down because he's playing with the big part of the field. He can beat you in so many different ways, and this number's getting just straight ridiculous. Line drive to left. And that will fall in front of Stanton. It's a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, he had to be sitting on a fastball hero right there because he pulls this one and gets the barrel to it to drive that runner in from third. Yeah, Dan, you could tell he was sitting all over it. You don't get to a fastball like that without knowing it's coming. Nice piece of it. Next, it'll be Gerald Hayden as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. Here's the 0-1. Well hit the other way, and, and it's that's into that's the gap. Yeah. Make the turn, make the turn. Around first, digging for two. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Well, pitching poorly once like he did in his last start, it's going to happen here or there, but he's struggling here again, too, and there has to be some concern. And part of it is probably psychological. He's got to get those here-we-go-again thoughts out of his head. Ready now is Carlos Correa. Runner in scoring position with Sukan. Here it comes on nothing and two. Popped up. On the bag, pick up the ball. Throw on to Ford, takes care of him, and the inning is over. So they can't make anything out of the two out double. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Next to dig in, Gerald Payton. He doubled his last time up. Hey, that's a rip up there, huh? Hey there. First offering on its way. Six runs, ten hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Hit out towards second. Reined in. So it gets him to them. Next to stand in is 
Gerald and Payton who bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. And it's fouled away. Prior to the 0-1, here's a look to first. And he just manages to get his hand in. Right over the top with Down. that curveball, and it's 0-2. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Yep, just another successful day at the office for these guys. But this one has a little bit of added significance, as that's win number 82 for them on the year, so they're assured of finishing the season with a winning record. 6-2, to two, the final total today. New York took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jacob DeGrom wins a league high.